I mean, one of the things we were trying to do with this, with the Mark 42, was make it iconically different than the previous movies. A lot of the other armors, to the layman, if you if you looked at them, they wouldn't be completely unique, right? They, we were trying to always update it and make it more interesting for each movie, and depending on you know the the actual function that was going to happen in the movie, it would change. But with the Mark 42, we were sort of tasked with how do you keep it looking like Iron Man but making it feel um, iconically different. Mm -hmm. um, the other main part part of it um, is is actually how it does function. Shane was really interested in make it making it the prehensile suit, which means it can fly onto Tony in pieces. He sort of can control it with his with his mind or through gestures, so it, it can actually um, come onto him. One of the other things that's interesting in the movie is because it it has its own. It almost has a life of its own. Making him primarily gold um, was, is probably the biggest visual difference. Um, Iron Man has a tradition of being called the, the Golden Avenger because when he first appeared in the Avengers, he was actually gold, all gold. Um, so going back to that and trying to actually make him m more gold than red was 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 where we started with trying to make him different. One of Shane's visions for the movie was also to sort of do a de deconstructivist look at, at Iron Man. So breaking him apart into smaller pieces, showing the component parts and the, the sort of functionality and the, the mechanics of it. Yes, it, it ends up becoming more of a busy suit because there's a, there's a lot of pieces, they all have to fit together. And we were act actively trying to break the surface into smaller pieces so that you could see how it could come apart and fly, fly around. I mean, there are a few iconic things with, with Iron Man that we're probably never going to change. The helmet has only changed a little bit over the course of the, you know, the movies. Uh, it does change a little bit more now. The ears have changed a little bit. Um, but in terms of iconic parts of the thing, the suit that you wouldn't change, the, the helmet's there, the, the sort of center chest RT, and shoulder pauldrons. I mean, it's actually kind of amazing that if you keep those sort of main features, how much wiggle room there is to go in different directions. You can change the color, you can change um, the finishes, and it, it pretty much stays Iron Man.